Hi folks, happy Memorial Day. Hope you enjoyed your day, your holiday, um, spending time with your family. And I'd like to give a shout out to all of our, our armed forces for doing what they do, putting their lives on the line. And to all of our, our vets, and also to the families, for people that have lost, lost loved ones. Um, in the past wars that we've had, Afghanistan, Iraq, um, through tours of duty, or anybody that came back um, disabled, um, I'd just like to make a special shout out to all y'all. Um, I'm really making this video because I wanted to put on my story on how I became unemployed. Um, I became unemployed. Uh, January 4th of 2013, I was laid off from my job for four years. I was working for a postal contracting company. And when I came back from Christmas vacation, um, they gave me a layoff slip. As well as my brother and another co-worker and a few other people. I mean, there were other situations going on with that company too. You know, um, I, uh... You know, since then, even when when I was out of work, I was looking. Um, plus, I was doing volunteer work at my uh, my Taekwondo Dojang. Um, I was helping out with the classes and you know learning how to be an instructor and so on and so forth. You know, so I did that volunteer work also for the pet for six months, and then I relocated to North Carolina. Um, I was in another part of the state where there wasn't really an abundance of housing and abundance of jobs because I don't drive right now so you know as far as getting back and forth to work it's pretty much stuck in the country um, I came up here to High Point at the end of September 2013 in which I was still collecting my unemployment um, but I had to look for a place at that time because I I'm a Section A recipient, so you have a certain amount of time to find a place. Um, you know, and then when they cut us off in December, um, you know, I went through some depression, some anger, some really, really bad resentment, um, you know, because I'm a very independent person and I don't like having to ask for handouts. Um, I did apply for food stamps. Um, thank God for Section 8 because they do pay my rent. But I'm responsible for my utilities, so, you know, I had to get handouts from my utilities. Um, when I got my tax return, I had to live off of my taxes, paid off most of my bills, you know, brought them to current, but, you know, but I still spend my time um, plugging away, looking for jobs. I went on a few interviews. Um, and then I got involved with WRLP, um, where they help you, you know, resume skills, job search skills, interviewing skills, um, and you have to do job search every day. Um, so it's not like, you know, you just go through this program and you're not doing any job search. Um, and now I'm doing an internship, which I'll be finished up with the next two weeks. Um, with helping severely mentally handicapped people um, with persistent, with chronic and persistent mental illnesses. It's called ACTT, Assertive Community Treatment Team. Um, and I'm also in school, I'm a criminal justice major. And I have a little background in psychology also. Um, I like forensics. Um, you know, so I applied for a few jobs. I got turned down for the airport for TSO because of my credit, because of Congress taking our unemployment, you know. But, you know, I'm not going to let that deter my, my mission and what my vision is because in the next five years, I don't plan, to, I mean, in the next six months, I don't plan to be unemployed. I plan to be in a career and I plan to be saving enough for my retirement. I am 47 years old. Um, and I don't plan on working the rest of my life, you know, I do want to retire, you know, but 
I want to be able to get the stepping stones that I need to secure my future financially and, you know, be stable. Um, you know, and I just want to say that anybody going through the struggle, like I feel you, um, I'm with you, any support that you need, you know, you can go to my Facebook page, um, Fight to Restore uh, Extended Unemployment, uh, Teresa Duraco. Um, you know, you can join our group. Um, and I just want to let Congress know that we don't have that much time. We need to pass a bill this week. Um, you know, we really need to step on to this. And I, you know, I believe wholeheartedly that Obama really needs to exert his executive order, you know, and to override John Boehner. You know, and we all need to work together, you know, stop throwing daggers at each other. Who's not doing this and who's not doing that? You know, the bill's paid for, so come on, stop pussyfooting around. That's all I say. Excuse my French. You know, um, but that's all for now, because I can't make long videos, because YouTube don't download it from my phone. I don't know why, but it just don't. So, you know, fight the good fight. I'm here for y'all. Um, you know, keep your feet firmly planted on the ground. You know, God says he never sees the righteous forsaken, nor do he see them bre begging bread. Okay? And Jesus says, knock on the door, and the door will be open. Speak, and whatever you speak to will come to light. Okay? You know, um, I mean, we are in the last days. Well, we're actually in, we're in tribulation. So I believe that a lot of the stuff that's going on with our government is biblical. So, you know, but anyway, have a great week, and I pray that this passes. I want our word, I want our voices, and I want us to stand strong together, okay? Goodbye. God bless.